Welcome back, True Seeker. There's a new story in the media this month, February 2018. NASA has supposedly set a new record taking the furthest picture away from Earth. And they said the picture was taken from 3.75 billion miles from Earth. Anyway, what they took a picture of is supposedly a star constellation that's way out there. And they called the constellation or the star Wishing Well. Wishing Well. Now here is where you want to learn the language of Gematria. And again, Gematria is this practice of letters and numbers and dates on the calendar. And it comes from old world knowledge, old world spirituality which is still known about within Freemasonry. And understand, Freemasonry has its headquarters for North America in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. The city, Washington, is named after the 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason, George Washington. And anyway, here's what's so interesting about wishing well in this language of letters and numbers. If you go to gematronator.com, that's the ca calculator Derek built to make this research so easy that anyone can do. Gematronator.com, if you go there and type in wishing well, you'll see that in the four base ciphers, wishing well sums to 57. So does outer space. So does moon. So does man on the moon. And so does conspiracy. All of these words share Gematria 57. And if you go through the history of the space program, there's a whole lot of 57 in it. Now consider Scottish Rite also equals 57. And just think about it. Scottish Rite, they have their headquarters in Washington, D.C. You know, that's where the president is. It was the president who dreamed about putting a man on the moon first president was a Scottish Rite Freemason. With regards to Scottish Rite equaling 57 and all these other things we mentioned, consider the name George equals 57. George Washington was inaugurated as president at age 57. And if you look up the first, I believe it's out of the first six presidents, four were inaugurated at the age of 57. Pretty consistent. Where this number comes from, its relevance, is actually the moon. The moon equals 57, just using the alphabetic order. M's 13, O's 15, O's 15, N's 14, put it together, moon 57. And the reason that matters in regards to the moon is because as the moon orbits the Earth, the way it's measured, its center, it never goes further than 28.5 degrees north from the equator and further than 28.5 degrees south, also from the equator, so a difference in 57 degrees. The way they measure it, the way the moon orbits the Earth, never exceeds those coordinates, its center in relation to the Earth. So, understand, Freemasonry, it's about knowledge, it's about collecting the knowledge of the world, they have mottos such as, as above, so below. You know, this old world knowledge has to do with what's going on in space and what's going down on the earth. You know, that's why astrology exists and all of our birthdays, you know, they mean something. And some people completely dismiss astrology. But I think the people who dismiss astrology are people who've never looked at it past a newspaper horoscope, which isn't all that interesting. If you actually read the dedicated research on numerology and the specific personalities associated with days on the calendar, a lot of people who take the time to research it, you know, it resonates with them. So anyway, Freemasonry has all this old world understanding and old world knowledge is about, you know, the planets, the stars, the sun, the moon, you know, the changing of the seasons, you know, the counting of the days of the year, understanding of numerology which has been very spiritual to people of the past, including Pythagoras. Pythagoras, very important to the Freemasons too, at that same 
House of the Temple in Washington, D.C., where they have the shrine for NASA, they also have many tributes to Pythagoras. So anyway, the point is, you know, these numbers, they're using them ritualistically. They're creating news. And it's all, you know, within these consistent patterns for a reason. It's not arbitrary. And consider this news that they put out about this picture from 3.75 billion miles wishing well. They put it out December, or actually, excuse me, they said the picture was taken December 5th, 2017. They then put out the story February 9th, 2018, but this picture was supposedly taken December 5th. And what's interesting about that date are a few things. If we write it in the United States, we write 12 slash 5, like 125. The word spiritual equals 125. And in Kabbalah, which has to do with his letters and numbers, it's where this comes from, it's old world knowledge. Kabbalah has 125 degrees of spirituality. Also interesting, the word numerology equals 125. And numerology, very much a part of Kabbalah. You know, this letters and numbers, gematria, it's considered to be Jewish numerology, and Kabbalah is mostly a Jewish practice. Also interesting about the date is December 5th leaves 26 days left in the year. So the day this picture was taken, December 5th, 12 slash 5, the day leaving 26 days left in the year. And space equals 26. So does Mason, you know, masonry, preserving this code. 26, very special number. My book coming out soon, it begins with the significance of 26, why there's a 26-letter alphabet. Connects to God. The word God in Hebrew and in English sums to 26, not arbitrarily. You know, man's made in the 26th verse of the Bible, which is entirely based in this code which has Freemason fingerprints all over it, the English translations. So anyway, leaves 26 days left in the year. In addition to God equaling 26, there's another three-letter word that equals 26. And that word is lie. And, you know, just think about how powerful lies are. And as much as we're lied to in the media, you know, everyone should question everything. And... You know, it's a fair question to ask. Is there really a camera that's 3.75 billion miles from Earth that can take these photos and then send them back so that the news media can get out the pictures? <laughs> you know, if you look at the picture of Wishing Well, it looks like you took a picture in the bathroom with the lights off and just captured your flash in the mirror. It, you can't make out what it is. So... Anyway, the, the thing is, this code, there's a real relevance to it. There's a reason to study it. You know, it seems that there really is truly something going on with numbers and the organic matrix, which is something I also talk about in the book and, and give the evidence for that. But no doubt this code is being used to push, you know, stories for the sake of propaganda. And why would the government want you to think that it has, you know, this object out there you know, accomplishing these great things. It's all creating the illusion. Government, power, control, a reason to spend taxes and give your money to this government that's achieving these amazing things. You know, NASA's just a drop in the bucket for all the different things the government does to control the minds of the people. And this same government's also conditioned people to dismiss the word conspiracy and to automatically associate it with conspiracy theory, which are not the same thing. You know, look at how many people use those two things as if they're the same thing, not realizing they're different. One's a theory. Conspiracy is a thing. And no doubt, conspiracy is a very real thing that a lot of different entities use in this world. Corporations use it every day to make profits, you know, to pay less in expenses. When a company is illegally dumping material at a strategic hour or day of the month, which companies do, that's a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy theory, <laughs> you know. But anyway, our government has conditioned people to dismiss conspiracy and associate it with conspiracy theory. And why? Because they're running the world on conspiracy. You know, 
constant propaganda to control the minds from space and beyond. You know, collapsing towers, blaming it on a man in a cave. We just need a war. It's only going to take a few months. Next thing you know, you're there for two decades. You know. You don't think this stuff's a conspiracy? Come on. Until next time.